Hello everyone, this is Amit Goswami, quantum physicist, consciousness researcher, and a quantum activist. I want to talk to you about something that has become big political news these days. The question of truth. Is truth relative? Many people are saying truth is relative. The most notorious of them, of course, is the President of the United States, Donald Trump, who constantly talks about news that he doesn't like as fake news. And he is the biggest spreader of fake news in America, at least. Um, so what is going on? Is truth relative that everyone can see one side of it and you have to give validity to everyone's truth? You know, we settled these things once. Modern science was created with the idea that there is only one explanation for every natural phenomenon. And uh, therefore, it does not really make sense to talk about truth in a um, relative way. In fact, science became the pursuit of the absolute truth and the whole idea of scientific laws that hold not only on Earth, but also in the entire universe, is based on this idea. How did uh, science itself um, change? It has, because now science itself is spreading also the same version of confusion. Truth is relative. Uh, Einstein's theory of relativity suggests that time is relative to movement, and so that gives additional fuel for this kind of thinking. Truth is relative. Relative to what depends, what context you are talking about. It is very serving to the politician who is dictatorial minded, because as you know, a dictator likes to say that everyone else is spreading false news about him. But of course, the news that he generates is the right news, the true news. So it's a very funny kind of statement. And scientific materialist, this idea that truth is relative, that science is spreading is the same way. Truth is relative except the truth that science is scientific materialism. That matter is everything. That's absolute truth. So every one of these things are based on a self-disproving proposition. They themselves are saying that, no, there is one absolute, what I'm saying. Everyone else's truth is relative. And that shows you the falsity of the basic premise. Fortunately, all this can rest because there is now a new science, a new scientific worldview based on quantum physics, which is telling us things very differently than all this, bringing back the idea that there really is truth, which has to be absolute, otherwise the universe will disappear. The fact is that the the world is not the way we have seen it before. The fact is that quantum physics has discovered, and this is not debatable. This is a discovery from experimental data. We cannot debate it. Theory has been predicting, quantum theory has been predicting for a long time that there is a domain of reality, which is domain of potentiality, and in that domain, Communication is instantaneous, without signals. Now, as you all know, relativity holds for the space and time domain. And the reason it holds is that in space and time, there is an absolute speed limit called the speed of light. So communication always takes some time. It cannot be instantaneous. This other domain, though, communication is instantaneous. What does it mean? Who can you communicate with that is instantaneously? Yourself. So this domain, all things are one. There is only oneness. 
What does that mean? The detailed analysis shows that this oneness is us, it's consciousness. Consciousness then is what? Consciousness then becomes an absolute. And consciousness has qualities that are called archetypes that Plato gave the name to things like truth, love, beauty. These things are also absolute. By exploring these things, we get to the real absolute, which is consciousness itself. This idea of quantum physics is reviving and based this time on experimental data. This is not metaphysics anymore. In the olden truths of absoluteness of truth, you could at least say that, well, that's just somebody's metaphysics. This is not somebody's metaphysics. This is real physics tested in the laboratory, that there is such a domain of oneness, which is consciousness, which is absolute. Everything comes from it, no escape from it. And you know, physical laws themselves prove that. Physical laws themselves are so fine-tuned that if you could change, if truth was relative and these physical laws could change over time, you know the universe would immediately disappear. It's so fine-tuned. The laws are so fine-tuned. This is called anthropic principle. The laws of physics are made in such a way that sentient being can evolve. Sentient being meaning that they have conscious awareness. They can represent that absolute, that consciousness is. This is the way the world is built. And that world goes away if truth were relative. So thank God or thank consciousness, whatever you want to call it, that truth is absolute and we are pursuing absolute truth and there is a thing called fact and we don't need to have battles about relativity of truth or whose news is fake. Yes, people will always give fake news because opinions are an inherent part of human beings. We give opinions about facts. And for a long time, even movie makers are saying that yes, when we see something, my perception may not exactly be the same as another person's perception. This is called the relativity of representation making. So indeed, representations will always be a little faulty, and this is why the search for truth will always go on. Absolute truth is something that can never, can never be represented. Any representation will be relative. So in that sense, there is a certain amount of relativity of truth, but it is very important to recognize that ultimately truth is absolute so that we can go on and on and refine our methods of finding truth better and better so that we come closer and closer to absolute truth. So similarly, we should try to witness an event so that we come closer and closer to what is fact. And then all these debates disappear. Then the bending of truth to your own advantage, that disappears, and we can all live in peace with each other. Thank you.